Good afternoon. I'm U.S. Attorney Bill McSwain. Thank you for being here this afternoon. I am joined by the special agent in charge of the ATF, Don Robinson, and the assistant special agent in charge of the FBI, Tarek McMahon. I'm going to say a few words myself, share some remarks, and then I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Robinson to say a few words. And after that, all three of us would be happy to answer any questions that you might have. What I witnessed last night was true heroism by the Philadelphia police. But this crisis was precipitated by a stunning disrespect for law enforcement. A disrespect that is so flagrant and so reckless that the suspect immediately opened fire on every single officer within shooting distance. And only by the grace of God did they survive. So my question is, where does such disrespect in this city come from? There is a new culture of disrespect for law enforcement in this city that unfortunately is promoted and is championed by District Attorney Larry Krasner, and I am fed up with it. It started with chance at the District Attorney's victory party, chance of F the police and no good cops in a racist system. And now we've endured over a year and a half of the worst kind of slander against law enforcement with the DA routinely calling police and prosecutors corrupt and racist, and most recently even referring to them as war criminals and comparing them to Nazis. This vile rhetoric puts our police in danger. It disgraces the office of the district attorney, and it harms the good people of this city and it rewards the wicked. The alleged shooter from last night, Maurice Hill, is a previously convicted felon with a long rap sheet. We have plenty of criminal laws in this city, but what we don't have is robust law enforcement by the district attorney. Instead, among other things, we have diversionary programs for serious gun offenses. We have the routine downgrading of charges for violent crime. And we have entire sections of the criminal code that are ignored. The criminal laws in Philadelphia, and especially the existing gun laws and the drug laws, should be aggressively enforced in order to protect the public and to protect the police. My office and our federal partners are doing all that we can. We have prosecuted 70% more violent crime cases this year than we did last year, largely in response to the district attorney's lawlessness. But it is now time for the district attorney and for his enablers to stop making excuses for criminals. It is time for accountability. It is time to support law enforcement and to put the good people of this city first. The U.S. Attorney's Office, in conjunction with the Philadelphia Police and our federal partners, is investigating the horrible events of last night. And we are considering all options at our disposal. We will do everything that we can to support our brothers and sisters in the Philadelphia Police Department and to ensure that justice is done. To the officers involved last night, those who were wounded and those who rushed to defend them, and to their families, I say thank you. The whole city thanks you. We owe you more than we can ever repay. 